Hello and welcome back to Strategy Nights. Tonight we're going to play the Vedelem the Golden Horde. It is a free game on Steam that was made by a couple of students in Breda University as you can see right here. It is even written. It is a game with a basic concept of a keep at the center of the map where you have territories splitting the map and you can start expanding to them. There are the Mongols, of course, that are invading your lands in waves and in the end there is going to be one big army trying to destroy your keep. I have already played the tutorial right here on skirmish. We're going to play, for starters, the skirmish levels. They are from the tutorial, which I have already done. And then it goes to easy up to hard. We're going to first finish these skirmish levels and maybe if we're going, not maybe, but we're going to check out the challenge maps. Some of them are really hard. I hope that after playing the skirmish levels, we're going to be able to survive at least for a couple of minutes in the challenge maps. Because some of them are really, really difficult, as I said earlier. So the basic... Uh, there is a basic economic system. Where you have, of course, your population capacity. It is only occupied by your soldiers. And you have food, wood, stone and iron. So let's go and start the easy skirmish level. They are still scouting as you can see, it says it right here, where we have enough time to build up our defenses. We start with man at arms, that's nice, and when we finish this we're going to unlock the normal difficulty. So the idea is that I'm going to start playing these levels, I'm not going to cut anything apart from the loading time. And hopefully it's going to be a game that... And hopefully it's going to be a game that catches on. So for starters, as you can see, we have already expanded. We have our sawmill that produces wood, our farm for food, stone, is quarry, iron mine and the house. Here in the military buildings we have the camp and the walls that we can build. Here on the keep we can upgrade our keep and we have access to the armory and with this territory expansion it provides us with a cost to expand to these territories. In the beginning, we do need more sawmills. It is really important to have a lot of them. As you can see, when we put the building in the acceptable resource for it, it shows how many of these resources were going to be provided when it is built. And after that, I think that it's always the same. It produces two wood per second, no matter what. So this is stone. Yeah, we need more wood actually. Yeah, I don't like the territory that we have. Yeah, we don't have enough. Of course. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But I can't undo it now. We have 20 minutes up on the top left of the screen. We have the countdown where the final army is going to come. Of this level I don't yeah it's not ah okay no it's not so let's at least start having some food production and then we're going to expand to one of the forests because we need more in the military camp we can build these men-at-arms that they are really slow basically they are the tanks of our army in order they are there only to absorb damage we have the archers that are, that are good against infantry, like these men-at-arms. And then we have the spearmen, that they're going to be the ones that kill the cavalry. And the Mongol army, historically, used to have a lot of cavalry. So this is what they're going to be composed of in this game as well. I did the same mistake again, I cannot believe this. Thankfully, it is on easy mode. 
I have to keep this in mind in the later levels because right now it is forgiving but it's not going to forgive us in the next months let's make just make some men at arms and finally get this wood I'm doing circles around the keep because as you go further and further from your keep the more expensive it is to occupy the territory okay it's 17 what is this? nothing as you can see it has attack rate of fire and range and of course their HP it does say what they do low damage that's what they do we need well we need this one I don't know if the river has any importance because as I said I have only played the tutorial they can cross doesn't look like they're slower okay let's get them now yeah, let's get them on the other side 20 make a house the next ones are going to be archers we need to find iron and the iron is right here let's check this out and then we are going to get some well first we're going to get some stone before building the iron mine Only 8? Are you kidding me? With a quarry we can start gathering some stone and build some walls but we do need the iron first because we need spearmen let's get some archers probably there there are going to be some scouting parties to attack us and now it's only five let's make another house I think our wood production is actually okay now of course having more never hurt someone Right here it's 19. Let's get another military camp and get some spearmen. Two of them. Maybe we need more farms. And also population. Let's unlock the repair. Feels like we're going to need it.
You cannot do anything with the iron, I think. Oh, we can upgrade our keep. That's the first time I'm doing it. Oh no. They're... L yeah, it's a scouting party. Yeah, of course, it is... Not an... AA... A game. So, some things are going to be a little bit funny like this. But it's still a nice game. And simple and nice game. Yeah, our archers are now firing at them. And they are... Well, they are gone. Now we have better bows. I... yeah. We took a lot of damage, to be honest. Is this... yeah, it's... Next level. Can we do anything? No. Nothing different? Ah, oh, yeah. That's great. Even more uh, Mongol archers are coming. Let's get some more archers of our own. Make another house. And since we're not going to expand to that area... Or we should expand. No, we cannot expand. Yeah. We will get this wood. Yeah, finish with them and we can start making some walls. Don't know how I can regen their HP. Maybe it's not possible. Why should it be possible? Thankfully, we do have a lot of stone. Oh no. Yeah. That's bad, because they're Mongol infantry. It says they're good at fighting. Let's upgrade our archers get more of them and get one more tanky unit I don't like the fact that they came from this side but yeah, increase the stockpile it's really important to increase on everything the stockpile yeah, right now they are not coming in great numbers. But they will come soon. Mm, yeah, we don't have space for farm. We could expand to this stone. Let's add more walls. And houses. Because we do need to start using all of our wood. Yeah, we don't, ah, okay, so we can even get the passive income upgrade. So they stop producing only two and they are going to produce more. Oh, that's a problem. Even more archers. To be honest, I didn't expect this big army on easy level. Yeah, let's make our units a little bit more... Tanky. Okay, we, we even go to the next level. Yeah, at some point. Orange. 
Let them fight. Yeah, we're going to lose a man at arms. That's a problem. I thought that I clicked it. What is this? Another army. Do they have to circumvent our walls? Guards and archers, uh, we need to upgrade our keep to level 3. Well, that's a problem. Let's start. Yeah, they are coming, of course. Let's get them. We need a gate. I shall build it right here. Yeah, of course they're not going to stand a chance. It's only one unit. Now we need it to be repaired. It does require a lot of stone, it feels like. There's no point of getting the stone, maybe? If I have created elite archers again... I, I think it will be enough for the first level. Let's get more houses. Although we do have a lot of them anyway. Maybe we could do with more... Food, maybe. Yeah, I shall start expanding just for the sake of it. No, it's not that useful. Right here we can, however, do something great with it. Although it's almost, it's almost the end of this level feels like we can even make yeah we can even surround our tile with a keep this is our keep right here oh no thankfully I did see them oh those poor guys where are they even going Come on, leave, leave my buildings alone. Wow. That was a lot of damage, actually. You know what? Let's make this. So we can upgrade our keep to level 3. And check it out. I think it is, yeah, it is the highest level that you can have. And we're going to have archers on top of it. Oh no, this is the archers on top of it. Some Mongol infantry. Yeah, our spearmen are not the best unit to fight them. Yeah, that's it. We, we do have a lot of archers, and they are elite archers. How can we even... Okay, now they're firing, and they're gone. Bye-bye. I hope there is no friendly fire. Otherwise, we have killed a lot of our units on our own. That's nice, with our level 3 keep we have upgraded walls. 
They are stone walls now. I can garrison some archers. There is zero iron left, so we are producing nothing right here. There is some stone yet. Every resource building has a finite amount of resources that it can produce. So we have to keep that in mind. And here they are. Our archers on top of the wall. They're going to protect at, at least this place. Someone is coming. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any iron. But we can get some archers on the keep. Yeah, they're coming. That was going to be the thumbnail. That is going to be the thumbnail. Not was, is going to be. And here are our archers on top of our keep. They look huge. Only one guy can get in that tower, I'm sorry. They are really big. So now we're just basically waiting. Feels like it. Yeah, we can get a bigger army, of course. They're coming in less than one minute. But our army. I think they're, we're going to nuke them. Are they here? No, that's just the raiding party again. Yeah, we need to start focusing fire with our archers, there are so many. We cannot target the same unit with all of them. There's no reason. Yeah, they are coming. Where are they? Okay. Let's keep these men at arms there. These spearmen there. Maybe these as well. Yeah, and the, everyone else just attack them. Yeah, they're coming from multiple sides, that's okay. We don't have that. We don't have a problem with that. Let's get them. They're horsemen? Oh, that's bad. Maybe that's bad. They're good against archers. And we have a lot of them. It feels like our placement of our archers was is a problem. We do have a lot of archers right here. 
We're shooting them down. It's like we have a machine gun. Alright, they did follow our archers out here where there are spearmen and men at arms to tank the damage. On this side, we are actually okay. Alright, so that was the first mission. Our final score is 68,000. Our military was a little bit weak. We did lose a lot of units apparently. We lost 1000 points because of our buildings destroyed. I don't know. Maybe it is because we destroyed this iron mine. I'm not so sure. So we can now go up to the normal level. That is going to be on the next one. So that was Vedelem, the first mission, the first level. It was the easiest one. I think we did a little bit of overkill, but that's okay. I mean, we are still learning, of course, the game. If you want, you can check it out. It's, it is on Steam and it's for free. And I hope I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a nice night.